All right, everyone. <clears throat> a little um, intro to Crazy Bump. It's really easy. If you guys want to add some um, extra maps, uh, specular, and also the normal, uh, please do so. I'll give extra points for that at the end of the semester if it's done properly only, though. Huh? So you open Crazy Bump, you install it, obviously. You open it up, and the only thing you see is you click here to open a map. You can open a normal file already. You can open a height map. Okay, or you can open a photo. We are gonna open a photo. It's very simple, and you are going to basically open a file. It's that easy. Okay, where it is? Right. You open your file. Right there. It's gonna analyze it. And how do you want it? Do you want it to look like that or like that? We want it more that that type of shape. So we click on that right here. All right, and that gives us right away. You can see it right here. A normal map that is pretty detailed, pretty intense, all right, and that might work pretty well, all right. Uh, let me make it smaller. It also gives us a displacement map that we're not going to use, an occlusion map that we're not going to use in this class, all right, but a specularity map you can use, and a diffuse map uh, that you can use. That's the color basically. So you have the diffuse, spec, and the normal that you can use very well. Now what we're going to do is we are going to export those. So we go to save and save all textures. And on a desktop, we're going to make a new folder called a uh, map Oops, right here and click right here and say save. And it's going to save all those. Now you can close that up. You're done basically with that. Now what we're doing is we are going back in Maya. So let me make my a little smaller so you guys can see it. Do the crazy bump is pretty small. Right here. And what we do now is that we are gonna apply a texture. So you will right click, go to the material attribute, change the color map for the new color map we just created. Alright, so we are gonna change that. So hold on a second. Let me put. Let me give it a new uh, material. It'll be even faster for us. All right. So in the color, I'll select the file, and I'm gonna go to my uh, folder basically. That is going to be map with an S right here, and I'm gonna select my color map and say okay. So perfect. As you can see, it reapplied it properly. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my texture by uh, going right here, and I'm going to go um, in the Bob mapping right here. I'm going to select the file, and I'm going to go into my normal now and click open, and I am going to make sure. That it has changed from bump to tangent space. All right. And now, if we look at it, it looks pretty cool. It has some shine to it. All right. Which is really cool, as you can see. Um, we could add the specular if we want to. We don't really have to, kind of. Um, see, that doesn't work in the other way. That's when you bake an object on top of an object uh, to get the same result. So, that looks pretty cool. One thing we can still do. Uh, to optimize our mesh is to select part of it first. It should have been round up, all right? So let me round up that really quickly, which I showed you in one of the video. Oops, sorry, I'm back. Let me stop. Oh, yeah, sorry. Actually, without rounding it up, let me show you something very cool. If I select that part right here, so not those edges. Just those edges that I want to round up, kind of, and go to normals, and I go soften edges. It will kind of round them up. I uh, will show you that. See, it looks a lot rounder. All right, yeah, that soften the edges. Now, as you can see, there is a slight error right here because we soften the edges now. So you might have to go back in and actually in the UV texture editor, kind of rearrange. All right. Um, some of those. So you go to the UVs and you look, where's that UV? Oh, right here. 
and you look at which one it is are ah, those right there so now you might go in and say hey that might be just a little off on that side and maybe I'll just move it in a little bit all right to get rid of those things okay uh, so that's pretty much it and you can put the specular if you want to let me show you that so for the specular it's very simple select your mesh all right and just go simply into the specular options right here specular color click on it select file and put your specular file right here and that's the spec file right here and you click open and now look it looks really cool it's got a lot of shine on it all right it looks uh, it looks nice uh, the students did a good job so that's pretty much uh, your extra points if you want to by adding the normal map and adding a, a specular map properly set up using a crazy bump uh, you guys or any other tool that if you have some that do the same thing and you get extra points uh, make sure uh, you let me know when you upload the work that you've done the extra work also all right take it easy thank you